me. It's kind of throw. Don't like the way it just throws you out of the airlock. It's a little unnerving. It's a fair old journey to my lab through these tunnels, but a deuce of a lot quicker than walking. There may be a few hostiles along the way. Nothing too bad, though. Deuce. Uh, that train you powered up should get you through quickly enough. Oh, yes. Yeah, now, I'm not sure how many people would be with me, but to call this a train... Hmm. It looks more like, you know, basically a slab of cardboard and metal, metal strip. Scale electrics are more complex than this. Anyway, not only is this a very odd-looking train, it's also, it's also one of the most awkward to drive ever. You have to press use and then time your pushing forward exactly right to get it to speed up. Yeesh. And you thought the previous corridors were long and repetitive. At least it sounds like a train. And yes, obviously we can't go the whole way. We have to do some token exploring as well. Oh yes. The citizens don't carry an any ammunition. I assume that's meant to be like a survival part of the game, in that you're supposed to conserve ammunition. The problem is, you don't really have to. There's ample boxes lying around, and of course the enemies aren't all that difficult anyway. They just tend to walk into your gunfire. So, the survival part never really comes into it as much as it could. It could. There are some moments that are uh, actually rather difficult, but because you had these ridiculous weapons, piss poor enemies, and the vending machines that can dispense almost infinite health, it depends how lucky you are, then it's pretty easy to survive. The first time I did cut, die a couple of times, but that's only because I didn't monitor my health resources correctly. Just running at them will do. And look! Ammunition. <sighs> oh well. Now, I can't remember whether there was actually any point in exploring this area. I think it might net you an audio log, which would be nice, but is not necessary. Oh yes, it's because we are near the end of... Oh no! Nope, there was no point in this part. That's a shame. This game can get you lost quite easily. And my trains run off. It's alright, walking's just as quick anyway. Hmm. It does have atmosphere, I'll give it that. The, the audio helps. The textures are alright, even if the corridor design isn't. But the audio lends it an air of ah, mysteriousness. There's another thing about these citizens, they seem to be able to take a hell of a lot of bullets. I think in the future everyone makes their jumpers out of Kevlar. Which would, you know, be fairly useful. Especially given that everyone on these space stations seems to go inevitably insane. No, I want to... I told you this train was all good. Right? Come on. We're building up speed now. Uh, Wee! Not really. Um, besides, I think we're near the end anyway. Yep! End of the line. Now, sadly, it doesn't keep going forward, which would be hilarious. Uh, but sadly, it just stops. Now, there might be another audio log around here. Indeed, there is. For many years now, I have desired to rid humanity of its greatest weakness, death. As humans, we have the oh, yeah, this just gets more positive. structures on other worlds to traverse space with ease and create computers far more intelligent than ourselves. Indeed. Why, then, have we not even seriously investigated ways into remedying our greatest flaw? Because it always results the same way. As we're about to find out. More corridors! I will work with it. You may 
made it. Welcome ah. to my personal laboratory. I only wish the circumstances were a little better. Yes, we finally get to meet Professor Wilson. Whoever he might be. I do like the posters. The posters are a nice touch, I'll give them that. Hello, Professor! Can we shoot him? No, we can't. That would be a little callous, but, you know, it's always tempting. It's so good to see you again. We don't have much time, so excuse me if I don't explain everything. He is slightly terrified. But it's simply... I am to blame for the mess that happened here. The colony is out of its mind because of one of my experiments. Ominous. I need your help to ensure that my work is never repeated. On my desk is a holodisc contains details of my work and, importantly, the results. It should be enough to convince Exterior to regulate its science team a little more effectively. I don't know any way to reverse what I've done, but hopefully I can prevent it from ever happening again. I need you to head to the communication sector. You'll have to cut across a few okay, other sectors to let get me pick to it. Up. Get going. It's only a matter of time before Woodrow Bell notices you. Yeah, thank you. Look, I, I know you owe me nothing, but it's important that you help me. Lives depend on I am trying! <laughs> there we go. I finally got hold of a and human now I can't get out. Icon. There we go. The rebel leader, Goldman. Goldman is a fiery one, but a healthy specimen. Exactly what I need. Tomorrow I will be conducting mental enhancements on Mr. Goldman to see if they give him the telepathic abilities the crows have begun to demonstrate. After that, I'll move on to trying to make Mr. Goldman a little more hard wearing. We'll record results. And yes, he did just say crows. Believe me. Goldman has not demonstrated any mental improvements whatsoever, nor has he shown any aptitude for telepathy. Improvements to Goldman's physical strength, however, have been somewhat successful. He is now capable of withstanding far more physical pressure than the average man, but that's probably more closer to curing death. The tests will be much easier if Mr. Goldman isn't so uncooperative. Perhaps if I erase some of his memory, he'll lose his rebellious seal. <laughs> Okay, so as remorseful as he is, he still does have the mad scientist laugh. Oh well, that's always confidence-inspiring. So yes, that was Wilson, and his plan is for us to take this Hollis disc, containing all his experimental knowledge, to the people who funded him to do this crazy experiment, in the hope that it will stop them. I thought it was a weird plan as well, but there you go. It's what we're doing. So let's keep going. <laughs> 